Well guys, coming to you with a little bit of an existential crisis. I don't know what to do. The Forerunner is basically done in its IFS version, right? Like, I could put a front locker in it and break axle shafts and worry about that whole thing. But does the Rubicon, does everything I need it to, looks great, and it's been a fun build process. The next step, the next evolution, is like twenty to $25,000. That is four wheel underdrive, front three link, four wheel underdrive, rear three link, that's super duty axles, that's $3,000 for a transfer case, that's $3,000 for wheels and, and or $4,500 for wheels and tires. Um, and that's just getting started. I need so much stuff to make this next phase work and I'm honestly second guessing it. Like, should I just sell it right now and start over? Should I do a giveaway? Is that even a possibility? Is it is it possible that I could create a giveaway that would net enough money to make it worthwhile? Or would I just take a, a complete and utter loss and give this thing away for like, you know, $1,200 in t-shirt sales? So I'm not really sure what to do. I really wanna build it up. I'm just really nervous about spending twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars on this clunker, and and have a still have a three-four, still have you know no power and three hundred some odd thousand twenty thousand miles, three hundred ten thousand miles on it, and never be able to get that back out of it. Obviously, I'll get smiles, smiles per gallon, but I just don't know what to do. What would you guys do if, if this was your scenario? M mind you, I'm not rolling in dough. I'm, I'm trying to invest in my future as a YouTuber and I don't know if this is the right move. So I'm kind of looking for some insight. Do you guys want to see me keep building this thing? Build it up to a, a monster truck? Or if I'm going to do that, should I start with something different? A fourth gen 4Runner or a second gen Tacoma pickup or you know, something that's maybe a little bit nicer, maybe a little bit newer. The problem with that is that four-wheel underdrive does not make three links for it. Uh, WFO does, Rockhound does, other people do. I was really attracted to the four-wheel underdrive just because I know that he's got the geometry figured out perfectly and it would be a road beast, it would be a trail beast, and probably even a desert beast. So, all with, you know, three four horsepower which is not much but i don't know guys well let me know what you think down in the comments below i'm a little nervous about making that next step because i want to keep pu pumping out amazing content and i think this is a great platform ultimately if i have this thing with super duty axles and an amazing suspension setup on 40s or 42s and then i've LS swap it. That's a great rig. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.